Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Marty from OwningsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. And I've been away for about a week, haven't been uh, posting any videos because I've been on vacation in sunny Florida trying to escape a little bit of the cold up here in the upper uh, north Midwest, upper Midwest, north, freezing, frigid, cold uh, zone. I call this the center of the polar vortex because... It's really super cold right now. It's supposed to get to like 47 below zero air temperature. That's cold. Anyway, um, so my wife and I were down in Florida and we were on a place called Sanibel Island. We stopped into a little antique shop and I found uh, pretty much the treasure trove of pencils, if you will, antique pencils. And I was going to show you those one at a time. But first, here's a few scenes from the Florida vacation. Okay, well, thanks for checking that out. And now here's a couple of things that I found while we were down there. Um, boom. Faber-Castell winter pencil tin. Right there. Yeah, these are great. These still work great for holding pencils in, and they're pretty light, made of tin. Durable. I found this, boom, Lindsay's Quality Watercolors, Glen, Glen Tint Chemical Company, Glenside, Pennsylvania, with, if I can open it up here, it's got its old original brush in there and some of the paints. The brush is a little bit worn and bent, but yeah, hey man, you could still paint with this. Um, and so that was really cool to find that. That's a cool old tin. Boom, Lindsay's. Got another watercolor tin right there. DeVoe Watercolors, DeVoe and Reynolds Company. Uh, but when, you, when I opened it, I found these pencils inside. Yeah, pretty cool. They were custom made for somebody. You could do that back in the day and have your name engraved on the pencil. So that's that. Found these cool El Dorado. Uh, Dixon Eldorado pencils, Eldorado and the City of Gold, and then that's the indelible copying pencil, and on the back it's got a picture of it right there. Yep, medium, and they're all there. One dozen, or maybe it's eleven and we're missing one. 
might be missing a single pencil, but just about intact. A dozen 200 hearts right there. Pretty cool. Found this, which is awesome. Prismacolor pencils. Chemi, Chemishield. Super bonded. And this was supposed to be a packet of vermilion red, but um, I just found a few regular pencils in there, colored pencils. Some of them had the tips carved out. It's a little bit of a write up on the Prisma color pencil. And then put the box top back on. It lists all of the 36 brilliant colors that Prisma color makes. Yeah, so that was really neat to find that. This is made of cardboard. But the thing that I found that was really, really, really cool was this. Boom! Faber Castell, 19, circa 1940s or 50s tin. Right? Now, these you can still find on eBay. The tin itself you can find. But here's what you can't find very often. This had its original, that's the advertisement, instructions. The paper is all intact. You don't find these because people used them. Unfold that. Some more about Faber-Castell. Right? That's not all. Wait for it. Yeah, that's right. They're all there. Every single 4-H pencil that came in this originally. Stacked up. Really, really awesome. Unused. So that's what makes this an extra, extra special find. And I'll take, take a look at this advertisement quick. This is a little bit about his work not being done because he doesn't use Castell pencils. Avoid retracing. Use the Castells. <laughs> thought that was pretty cool. Printed in Germany. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Not going to find that every day. So, that was really cool, and right there, absolutely worth the trip to the antique store. I think this cost me $15 US. Yeah. So, a bunch of stuff. Cool. So don't forget to check out the old antique shops once in a while. Not everything you can find in the world is online. When I stopped in there and talked to the gentleman, the proprietor of the antique shop, he said, I don't put stuff on eBay. It's too time consuming. So there you go. Not everything out there is on eBay. All right. Hey, thanks for checking us out. Don't forget to leave a comment or question. Drop a little love on the YouTube site. And uh, until next time. Have a great day and I hope you get some time to draw.